to my channel. I am the introvert who needs a little socialization. Can we talk? Can we talk about it? And let me add, everything I say is alleged, my opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Let's get into some of these hot topics that done went on up in these social media streets. <laughs> but let's start with Scarlett going live with her boyfriend and him totally embarrassing her. Okay. Courtesy of On Site on Instagram. Check this out. Me to run around. Do you love me for me, bro? Who did not fuck with you if you did it? But the fact that you do make things way better. And what I'm saying is, why they worried about me and you when their significant other ain't got no bread? And if they do, ninety times, nine times out of ten, they fucking with them for the bread. All right, I don't give a. F about what they are doing. I'm asking you. And you keep giving me the run around. Do you love me for me, bro? Of course. Do you? F okay. So if I was broke, would you f me? Mm, I don't know because this is the thing that they don't know. If I was broke, would you fuck with me? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Are you saying you won't? child total embarrassment and like he meant what he said i hope she don't come back with no excuses for why he said what he said because he said what he said okay i know she's young but i hope she heard what he said he's with her for her money if you notice what he said what people don't know is if would you be with me if i was broke and she said yeah immediately it was no thoughts no no humming like he did and it's really sad. I think she, I think she got it. I think she got it. But you know how it is with young love. All right, y'all. Let's move on to this next story. Country grandma Nelly. Apparently Nelly was arrested after a big winning at a casino and a background check was done on him, which caused this arrest. But let's get into this article courtesy of ABC News. Rapinelli is arrested and accused of having illegal drugs. His lawyer says the case will die. Rapinelli was arrested on Wednesday at St. Louis area casino and the Missouri Highway Patrol said an officer found four illegal ecstasy pills on him. The rapper's attorney said an overzealous officer targeted him and conducted an improper search. The arrest occurred about 4.45 a.m. and Nelly 49 was held and then released by police in Maryland Heights, Missouri. The patrol said in a brief online report, the St. Louis suburb is home to the Hollywood Casino and Hotel, and Nelly's attorney, Scott Rosenbaum, said in a statement Wednesday evening that the rapper who grew up in the area visited frequently. Online Missouri court records show that Nelly, whose first, excuse me, Nelly's whose birth name is Cornell Haynes II, was cited in June 2018 in Maryland Heights with operating a vehicle without proper proof of insurance. A judge issued a warrant in December of 2023, and it's remained outstanding. Rosenbaum said Nelly has won several casino jackpots, and when he sought to collect them, the officer who would have supervised the transaction needlessly ran a search for warrants. Why? Because he was black? Once the officer found the outstanding warrant, he cuffed Nelly hands behind his back and felt compelled to parade him through the casino in front of other customers, Rosenbaum said. Nelly's attorney called the officer. Nelly's attorney called what the officer found alleged ecstasy and said the officer did not have probable cause to justify searching him. Nelly wasn't notified of the warrant and did not know about it, Rosenbaum said. I'm 100% confident this case will go nowhere, Rosenbaum said. And we will be asking for an inquiry into the officer's conduct. The Highway Patrol's report provided no details about the arrest and Maryland Heights police did not respond to calls Wednesday seeking comment. Rosenbaum said that any other citizen would have been told to address it and allowed to go on their way. Only question I have is, is it standard procedure for the casino to do a background check on people who win a jackpot at the casino? Because I thought they check your ID, they bring you your money, and you be on your way. 
So y'all let me know in the comment sections. I was looking up the Googles and the Googles just said that they normally just check your ID. So I don't know. I don't know if this was some targeted incident or was it because he's black? And in the same week, T.I. was arrested for mistaken identity. Child. This snippet of the article that I'm reading from is from CNN. It reports that T.I. was briefly taken into custody in Atlanta in case of mistaken identity. T.I., whose real name is Clifford Joseph Harris Jr., was taken from Hartsford Jackson International Airport to Clinton County Jail Sunday night. Authorities there said a warrant was taken out with the same name in Baltimore. The other Clifford Harris is accused of beating up a woman. The rapper, pro the rapper proved to police that he was in Los Angeles when the alleged incident with other, with the other Clifford Harris took place. A judge in a Metro Atlanta dismissed the case. And according to T.I.'s lawyer, the rapper was released within two hours. Well, thank goodness he had proof. Okay. Cause had they put him up in the jailhouse, Mm, I'm sure his lawyer would have got him out, but had it been a regular degular Joe Schmo, well, they probably would have been sitting there for days or months. Okay. So let's move on to the next story. Um, condolences go out to Portia Williams and her family, her cousin, uh, Londi, which we were introduced to on her show, Portia Family Matters has passed away. There's no reason why or how she passed away. But this is what Portia posted on her timeline on Instagram. It states, so it is true when all is said and done, grief is a price we pay for love. Slash EA, what? Bakshanari. Londi, you were our best friend, our sister, our aunt, our cousin, and so much more. Your life was a blessing, your memory a treasure, and you are loved beyond words and will be missed beyond measure. The impact and value you provided all of us during your time here was tremendous but we know that your spirit will always be with us every day guiding us through the difficult time and what's still to come for that we're eternally grateful love you always dear baby cousin again condolences go out to Portia Williams and her family for their loss I done scrolled across this on Jackie Gold Schneider's story a picture with her and Teresa child so they're gonna be on you know their last episode I guess they're reviewing the Last Supper, which happened last week. So this should be interesting to watch and see what the ladies have to say. I actually have, you know, a video review of The Last Supper, which I did early in the week and I just never put it out. I might put that out along with the review of this one. We'll see how I feel about it. <laughs> okay, but this is so funny that Jackie Goldsnyder put this picture up from The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Especially since she was the one that was revealed to have the sit downs with Louis X's. Child, I can't. But I'm going to leave it right here. That's all the hot topics I got for y'all today. See y'all in the next hot topics. Peace.